Hi, my name's Apocalypse Toast, and I'm gonna play Stalker. So you ready? Cause I'm ready. I'm ready. Death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit! You are lying! Let the zone take me if I am. Put it here! I think... For this one... I can give you... So, Marked One, I saved you. And I'm not going to pretend I did it to win favors upstairs. You do some jobs for me, and we're even. Besides, keeping you busy might be a good way to deal with your amnesia. And I'll see what I can find out about your problem. I don't give a shit why you want to find this Strela guy. I mind my own business. If you want to kill him, well, you must have your reason. What are you standing there for? Come closer. I don't bite. The choice is yours. Either I brainwash you, like I usually do with all the rookies, or I treat you like a real stalker, and I give you a mission straight away. This is your personal PDA. This useful device will help you survive in the zone. And if you do die, others will know where and how. <laughs> Just kidding. Here, let me remind you how to use it. Your tasks can be found in the first section of the... Most tasks have buttons, which allow you to access additional information on the task. Remember, each new task is automatically shown on your minimap. Moving on. The second section on the PDA is the map. Buttons above the map allow you to zoom in and out. Um, oh, you, you can also center the map on yourself, and uh, uh, I'm sure you'll work it out. It's not very complicated. The PDA also has a contact section. The contact section contains a list of stalkers within 50 meters of you. 
You can see a brief description, rank, group allegiance, and probable attitude towards you here. Remember that while you're neutral, the way other stalkers feel towards you depends on you alone. Note how someone's attitude towards you changes when you help them. Be careful if enemies are around. They're marked red on the visor. Friends are green and neutrals are yellow. Oh, and PDAs of dead stalkers are gray. Helps if you're into looting corpses. What else? Oh yeah, there's a diary too. Well, uh, what is there to say about it? All the information you need is noted in your journal. And news, too. Even what I am telling you right now can be found in this section. Uh, then there's a rating section. You can see the top 20 stalkers I know. I refresh this info from time to time to keep up the competitive spirit. <laughs> Maybe you'll be at the top of this list someday. Who knows? Your own achievements are noted in the stats section. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And then we have the encyclopedia. It contains information about the zone and survival advice which you find or are given by other stalkers. That's basically it, I think. Oh, one more thing. Your PDA model has a wide-frequency radio wave scanner with an inbuilt decoder. Its radius of operation is about 400 meters, so you can even enter sub-military comms. Mine has a working radius of 30 kilometers, so I can always get in touch with you. I'll give you the tasks and the latest news. Initially, I'll give you advice, too. So, is everything clear, or should I repeat? Got a job for you, Marked One. I want you to find a stalker called Nimble. He was carrying some very important information. He disappeared somewhere near the bridge. Find him. Dead or alive, I don't care. I need the flash drive with the info. Visit Wolf from the local camp and ask him. He certainly knows where that guy can be. Okay, so that's our story. We were on a death truck, and now we awoke with a PDA that tells us to kill a guy. Now that tunnel right here, this tunnel is like the bane of your existence, because the lighting will totally screw your computer. And it's very detailed, and out here it's not so detailed. So, welcome to the zone. The zone of alienation based on the real zone of alienation up here oops. up here at the far north we have the Chernobyl power plant and the entrance to the zone is way down here by us way 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 down there so the trader said he'll help us kill the guy but we gotta go find Nimble and get a flash drive and that we should talk to Wolf. Wolf is the leader of this rookie camp. This is where rookie stalkers come <coughs> to learn how to be a better stalker before they get into really dangerous stuff. So I tell him I need to see Nimble and he was attacked by bandits and we're gonna go rescue him and that I'm um, why do I need to help him rescue and then but we're gonna do it anyway guys I'm sending someone your way so wing it you may attack if necessary over if you want you can pause that and read it but basically he says we're just gonna go Rescue Nimble. <laughs> so I've got my gun, finally. Okay, people don't like it. You know, when you point guns at them. Before we go over to Nimble, we're gonna find a little secret. If you crouch your way, this is a little tricky, because this is in a very wide ledge, but if you 
crouch your way over to the roof here. And you do a sprint and a jump. You get on this roof. And from here, there's a little box. And you stab the box. And in it, we find a merc suit. Now, armor in this game comes in the form of suits. And when your suit runs out of it, suit health, it breaks. And you gotta buy a new one or find a new one. So this merc suit gives us a bunch of resistance to just about everything. Explosion damage, chemical burns, rupture, impact, which is essentially bullets. Radiation, very good, very good. Notice that even though my character model has a blue a blue guy, a guy in a blue suit, the um, his arms that we see in first person don't change. It always stays like that. So we're playing the Back vanilla the version stalker that means no mods installed and you'll see that the game has its glitches you can mod the game to do a lot of different things like get a car or have to sleep or eat food on a regular basis but we're just gonna play the released version so we come over here and there's a dead stalker and we take his health pack and nearby is a half dead stalker take the med kit off the stiff I can't grow that far. So we give him the health pack. He'll take him, my uh, boy. We're okay, you know that? And we should to tell everyone at the camp that you helped me out. So you notice that he's got a green reticle now. He's my friend. But this guy's not really going to help us much. That's a military helicopter. The military patrols the borders of the zone. And they kill stalkers on sight. Although sometimes they do deals with them to get artifacts. So here's our first mutant. It's a mutant dog. These things are blind. So you can stab them, you can shoot them. We're gonna run. Run over here and we'll pick up a can of soda. So you can eat food to bring your health up. Or use health packs, which is the better way. So up ahead here is Wolf's crew. And we're gonna go save Nimble. Pipe down, man. Let me fill you in. How many bandits? Seven or eight bandits. Some by the gate and some more inside. All right, let's do men, this. Men, Wolf here sent us some support along with the order to attack. Time to move on and be heroes. Okay, ready? Let's go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak up all quiet like. Be very quiet, very, very quiet. Now if you look in the top left, the red dots are the bandits. We've gotta kill all the bandits to get Nimble out. Nimble doesn't have to live, but that would be a good goal to work towards. Bandits always wear black suits so you can always make them out so we're gonna sneak in there and we're gonna just go bop 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 and this is gonna be some oh okay I guess we're not doing that that's fine this pistol I have sucks but if you get real close and you can pull off a headshot it's no big deal I find you Aiming without the iron sights is easier. Iron sights on this gun are just, I don't know, like shit. Except it worked there. Sometimes I do it out of habit, just from new video games. Oh, I'm getting shot out everywhere. So, a big part of this game is looting people. So we're going to take this guy's bread. And his bandage and his bullets and his shotgun bullets. And I'm getting, I'm getting shot up. But, whoa! Good save. Take all his junk. We got a grenade, that's all we Попали, попали, суки! А, 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 
One of these guys has a shotgun, and you can get a shotgun and kill everybody with it. It's like a double barrel, like small, short, or I should say short barrel. What the I owe you, brother. I could never thank you enough. I don't know how to thank you. Well, how about you give me that flash drive? And he tells me he hid the flash drive, and he also gave me a location of a stash. That's right, a stash. Now, when you loot bodies, sometimes that happens. In the bottom left, you'll see information about a stash. Da 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 da. So we bring up your PDA, and stashes will be purple. Purple in color. Or there'll be circles like this. And at these locations, here's another one, will be like a bag, and you open the bag and there'll be items. Some of, most of the time they're preset, uh, other times it'll be random junk. But the bag will only have items if you have the stash location. For example, you couldn't go to a stash that you already knew about and, um, you know, take the items. It won't be there if you do it like that. I don't think I looted this guy. No. So we got another stash. We might do some stashes, but it's kind of boring. So you probably won't see a lot of it. So we got the flash drive, and we'll head on back to uh, the rookie town. So we've made it to the rookie town, and let's let's let Wolf know a job well done. You guys and I made it a okay at the car park. And he gives us a jellyfish. He gave us a fish. No, he's talking about an artifact. This is an artifact. Artifacts are items produced by the zone. The zone, now covered in anomalies, produces these items that give you special powers. And I wanted to get away from that guy talking. A jellyfish will give you plus five to your rad, and plus two percent to your bulletproof, uh, essentially your bullet resistance. But since it gives you five radiation, this thing will just slowly poison you, and you're gonna need another artifact to offset it. Since we don't have it, we'll probably just sell it for money. Two percent on your uh, bullet's not gonna do a whole lot anyway. I got your flash drive. Where is the flash drive with the info? Here it is. Listen, Mark One. I've done some thinking, and here's what I'd like to offer. Generally speaking, what you really need is to find Strelok, right? Yep. Anyway, here's the thing about Strelok. There's a stalker that goes by this name. They say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. That is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. Yeah. Anyway, I can help you find him. However, as you can imagine, it won't be a free ride. You'll have to work it off. But in the long run, we'll both benefit. You're going to waste that Strelik fella and find out what happened to you, and I'll find... Uh, well, I mean, I'll get my share of our mutual profit. <laughs> so what do you say? Deal. Okay. All right, listen. You mean business, I can see that. And I... I mean... We need guys like you. We're doing sort of an investigation with some other traders. We want to open up a path to the north, to the center of the zone. And near the center, something or someone is trying to hamper our progress. How the heck this Strelok managed to sneak through, I don't know. You see... There's this one area where your brain starts boiling. An eerie place. Anyway, to cut a long story short, a couple of guys have been spying on those grunts for me. Not far from here. Apparently the ones at the Agroprom Research Institute have dug up something. Something major. I'm positive it has something to do with the center of the zone. Anyway, whatever they've dug up, it's secured somewhere in the third floor of the Institute. And we really need this stuff. You know what I mean? Once you have the briefcase, don't bring it here. 
take it straight to the barman. He runs the stalker bar at 100 rads. I'll upload the coordinates and all the data you need to your PDA. Clear. You'll need to go north through the garbage, then turn west. You'll end up at the Agroprom Research Institute after a few kilometers. And be careful, the radiation level is way too high at the garbage. So I suggest you invest in some anti-rad. Or some vodka. Well, good luck. Okay, um, next time we'll do some side quests. And we'll get a stash, maybe, and then we'll head up to the Research Institute. So stick around for more exploration in the zone.